baba unajua kunifurahisha baba umenivuta machozi tadio unajua kunifurahisha baba nitakusifu milele hey guys hello how have you been have been great can't complain and thank you so much for always turning into this channel i'm a subscriber you are welcome to this family and um a returning subscriber god bless you for me for always making it happy to turn into this channel and i'm so grateful for seeing it necessary to turn into this channel please if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel consider doing so and as the title implies i'm here to talk about how um my mom happened how how life was before and how life is after my mom passing and i want to just make this video to just to address on just some few things some things which have not been going right yeah it happened like i used to know my mom my mom used to be there for me my mom Minute, please. <sighs> my mom used to be there for me my mom is the one who brought me she brought me up from my understanding because later i have come to learn about other stories i don't know of other stories i am yet to uh, i'm yet to understand um because my mom used to be my mom my mom i knew me i knew her like my mom i was the only child in that homestead she always used to do everything to please me everything to just make me happy and i remember in the old days when i was young my mom would discipline me so much because when i used to nikiwa mdogo i used to go to school na toa viatu kwa field na tupa na poteza when i go home my mom used to discipline me a lot because i understand and i came to understand that you know like as children sometimes you get to think that our parents hate us that's why they are disciplining us but no they want us to become responsible people in the future in in such a case when you're getting disciplined you're going to just get disciplined if you are just doing wrong and yeah so my mind used to discipline me a lot when i go wrong when i do wrong i used to want to play a lot since i was only the, the only child in the homestead so i could go to the neighbors to play and i could go there without even my mom's permission because i i don't know i don't know where I had gotten that and I used to be beaten so much but my mom when I did something she always used to appreciate me I am going to say that she used to appreciate me with even the small small smallest things I know like sometimes she could go to the marketplace which is our near, near, our near area home area market was Kangari and it people go there only on Thursdays that's the market days and since there was we had a tea plantation when you pluck tea you're going to be paid through the bank at the end of every month so she could go there mostly for the first month for the first Thursday of the next for the the other month I don't know whether I'm making sense but if she left me at home I could do i could just do something to get appreciation appreciation from my mom and she could bring me bananas she could bring me meat i remember at akikuja na nyama uh, sometimes i go home kama amechoka so i used to kupika hiyo nyama usiku kama ameenda kulala i eat alone she could not complain any i i, I just can't tell that my mom loved me so much I loved her so much when I was young when I was in nursery school she could come to attend the closing days I loved her so much because she always 
used to appreciate me. My mom always used to appreciate me in each way she could, each way possible. She could. But anyway, things happen. Life happens. And it happens the way we are not expecting it to happen. I remember when I was in class 3, there was this teacher, or a class teacher. He once told me, like, that is not your mom, that is not your mother. I cried and I went and told my mother. Like, I, I told her, I, I even didn't ask her. I just, I told her that mom you know what this teacher is telling me that you are not my my mother she got so furious and even decided she told me that she's going to ask that teacher but you know i i, I told her like don't just don't go because i didn't also even want to involve myself in fights like my mother never allowed anyone to tell me that she was not my mother it happened that she was i i, I had questions as i grew up but I, I never got to ask her because i knew i i saw i saw like she was old for that she was old other than my classmates when you Ma, their parents used to come to school and, and I used to ask myself this woman is supposed to be my grandmother but anyway I knew her as my mother I respected her as my mother I never ever in my life asked her whether she was my biological mother until the time she passed I appreciated her the way she was I never knew I never knew no other parent. I just knew her as my own mother. I remember when I was joining Form 1. Sorry for that. I had a customer. So. I never ever in my life questioned her about. I, I'm seeing your old. I actually never used talk about it with anyone even through school and when I was training from one I'm so much grateful that um, she was able to take me through TL from one because you know when you're doing an exam um, KCPA exam you have you need to have a birth certificate she went all out look for that birth certificate and I had a birth certificate now through from one I, I, I remember I I was late to join from one I didn't join when the others were joining because my mom had no money to admit me to high school at that moment she had no money the second thing is i was not made up i had not made up my mind because i wanted to repeat class eight so i had not made up my mind also but i finally joined from one around um, i think something much closely to the first term ending that's when I joined Form 1 and um, I at times I am happy because she was able to enroll me because I lost her at the second term of that year of that same year so I was in Form 1 when I lost my mother she was ill she was going through very very really hard times because i i don't know which condition it, i don't know which disease it was but she had bloated the, the stomach had bloated like ukifinya hivyo utasikia kama ni mawe iko ndani um she was not able to eat alikuwa 
amenini ameharibika ulimi she could not eat anything alikuwa anakataa dawa and but you know what i knew she is a strong woman because every time that like that throughout that period i had stayed with her i had never seen her not coming out of an illness she used to be maybe she used to be strong for me to for me to see that she is strong but she used to be very very strong and i remember there was another time she was sick and very very sick also and she survived that she and this time around i also knew that she's going to make it because she has been a strong woman all through and um I never knew that it was her last time because I remember before she died that Monday it was she died on a Saturday but that week that beginning of that week she passed on a Monday she had called family members family members when I want to talk about family members I'm just going to be very specific about this because the issue I want to address here it has gotten through family members it has got something to do with family members some family members um she had called them uh, at home and when i came from school that monday i found them walikuwa wamekuja kumwangalia there was this woman uh, woman alikuwa ameolewa na a cousin of mine so she used to come look after her when i'm in school at school so now she called them and there is this I call her a far far cousin because my mom was married she was married and they had separated with the husband long ago long time ago but there was this now cousin of mine she, who was coming they were coming they were getting along and he used to come to where we used to stay a lot and he trust she trusted him so much that it was to an extent you know when people get old and they don't have the knowledge of how am i going to handle my documents like for example the title deed the um, the waters like those personal documents if you don't have knowledge on how to handle it you know i think it should also reach to people like if you are a child and you have this kind of a parent please advise the parents on how to do if it's about talking about things let it be written on a wheel let that wheel go to a lawyer be kept by a lawyer or something <laughs> because not having a wheel has brought me problems not um not what not having the document being kept to the right whole place has broken problems uh she had called them and i think mtu kikufa there is a way you just feel it i don't know how but alikuwa amewaita and she was explaining to them the meaning the family members the brother the brother now to my mom my uncle's children sasa unajua ni wakubwa because she was old old she was old because she passed at the age of 18 now i know that's where you get the logic like now i have questions and i had questions that this is not my mother but let me tell you that is the woman i knew as my mother you cannot come telling me you, that was not your mother i don't know anyone else i found myself there I don't know why I find my I found myself there. I don't know. I don't want to know about any other pa- other parents. I'm okay. I'm contented the way I am. I don't want to get to know another parent and at you can't tell me I was your mother. This was your mother. This is what happened. I I knew that woman as my as my mother. So now she had called them and was telling them on uh my whereabouts where i would stay if anything could happen Jeez. 
she had called them and uh, she wanted to discuss them to discuss and uh, she wanted to tell them on where my uh, where my whereabouts when I, where I will stay after maybe if anything happens to her uh, according to how she told me because mimi nilipata wakitaka kutoka i am sorry for the noise outside so now ma nikienda home aliniambia walikuwa wanavutana sana because they were asking her about kwa nini walipewa mtu title deed remember alikuwa waile side ya mama yangu please alikuwa ameolewa so they were asking mbona wewe ukampatia yeye but the reason as to why alimpatia she was so insecure because she used to find maybe sa zingine direction imevunjwa ngo zake zimetoanishwa so she was fearing that someone was looking for that title deed that that was the reason as to why she she thought it right to take that I told did and give it to this person to stay with it so now she told them this is the person who is going to be staying this is the person i gave my documents this is the person who is going to stay with my child even in, in just in case anything happens to me and that week was over through friday i was supposed to go for tuition uh, on saturday that saturday but i didn't now that saturday i was at home with my mom but she was very sick and she continued deteriorating as time went by um she continued she could not eat she could not do anything by herself and i remember i was at the sitting room kama ni meka and she was lying in the bedroom i had her cough she coughed and our house was not cemented so she wanted to speak that 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 yo kofenya me nini she wanted to speak it hapo chini so and there was kula kulikuwa kuna nguo yenye ilikuwa imeanguka hapo chini so she told me juu nitolee hii nguo i was the only person in that homestead tulikuwa mimi peke yake mimi na ye uh, i remember when i went there si nimeinama tu nimchukulia nguo na ye ameenda inama a uh, speak I looked at have you mean my hivi kumwangalia hivi she rolled there was a way she rolled her eyes that was the end of my mom those were the last words kuniita niende nimtolee hiyo nguo she rolled her eyes and she started akanza kutoa noises zingine like like snoring I I I try to call her she is not responding to me and at that time I I felt so bad I felt shocked I didn't know what to do there was no one else at home so I screamed <laughs> I cried I screamed and like people from my area knew my mom was sick so I think they knew something had happened I came and the next thing I saw is my mom being wrapped in a blanket to be taken to the mortuary I love my mom so much. <laughs> she was the reason I kept going because I I knew like by the time i finish form 4 by the time maybe i go through college or university i graduate i just wanted to make her a proud mother 
I used to say how I I will do things to her. I used to tell her how she could sit down and just eat, have the nice rest of her old days nicely. I knew she would have a she would have lived a better future with me. And now she was no more. But then I, I didn't know like that was the end of it. I didn't know my I didn't know my whereabouts since I had no brother, I had no sister. I I I just knew this person that my mom said I would go to live with. And that evening the people from my the relatives now came and in the evening they decided I'm not going to go with this person because Pia and Kuja, I'm not going to be go with this person. I'm just going to go with another cousin of mine when I live to around. I went there and the morning period was over and I was just eagerly awaiting for that day that my mom will I'm, I, I'm sorry that my that I will be freed to go live with this person. But now I remember during the burial ceremony the area sub chief stood at the burial the area sub chief Makomboki sublocation stood at the burial and he said um he wants to have a meeting with his family members now and when i'm saying about family members i'm talking about cousins these cousins of mine watoto wa uncle yangu na auntie yangu na uyu mwenye my mom had now said i'm going to live with um that he want to have a meeting with the family members the following day i remember the bar was on a thursday and we were supposed to go there now on the following day which was on friday and he said he added and said that remember i was not i was not a child like i could not understand anything i was not i was understanding it and everything they were talking about now he said i want to I want the person who was given the Lancet, the, like the documents, the Lancet all did, to come to the office, to the office with the documents. Now the following day came, and I was very planned. Nilikuwa ni bebe batungo, tuwa muna kabag, nilikuwa na jua, nienda kuo uyu mtu. We went, and the sub-chief said, remember there was not a written document to talk about me going to live with this person so the family members were opposing and they were saying we don't know this person i don't know why they were saying that we don't know this person so we cannot let this child go with this person i cried that day i cried i cried i looked at him go i looked at him go matatu i looked at him and i was in disbelief in disbelief that i'm not going to stay with this person so now life had to continue and they said I have to stay there so that I'm going to get access to go to school because Yoshule and Yenilikwana Soma it was just around so I had nothing else to do I cried I cried I cried and you just cry and unanyamazo unazoya tu I didn't know that was the beginning of my hardships Guys, I just don't want to make this video too long. I think I'm just going to make the part two of this video on the next vlog. Please consider subscribing to my channel. If you haven't, please do subscribe to this channel. And God bless you so much for always watching my videos. Please, please kindly watch my videos till the end. Make sure this video reaches a lot of people. And I'll be so much grateful. Thank you, guys. Bye, see you on the next one.